So I am so excited. <sighs> Today we get a new car. We get to go pick it up right now. Not my one that was in an accident that was a hand-me-down, a nice hand-me-down for my brother-in-law. That one is still <laughs> being held hostage in the body shop because the other person's insurance is still refusing to pay for it or pay what the body shop wants. So they're going back and forth and we have been waiting. It's been six months since the um, accident. So that is still pending. But <laughs> we have also been waiting since December since we purchased our new Tesla. Yes, a Tesla. It is the base model. We could not afford you know the fancy one but it is fancy in itself we have never we have not bought a new car um i want to say let's see we lived in that house for 13 years and we didn't buy any cars we just ran our we run our cars until their wheels fall off that's what we do we buy a car we just until it's so expensive to fix that we might as well get a new one and we always pay cash we never finance our cars that is our like agreement to ourselves that we if we can afford it we get it if we can't we just keep going with what we have okay so <laughs> it has been uh 20 years since well actually 20 okay 13 hold on and then there's 13 <sighs> How long since we've been since we've had a new car the Camry and the Mini Cooper was 2005 2006 yeah so it's been 15 16 17 years yep. so 17 years since we bought a new car and the cars that we got before my car wasn't even new it was one year but it had low mileage. It was a cute little Mini Cooper. I loved it. It had, this is all before grandchildren. <laughs> it had a um, top down, a convertible, and I loved it. I ran it until it died, <laughs> but actually I sold it, and then I'm hoping it's still going. I don't know, but we, it just became like so expensive to fix that we just like forget it. But we, I had it for over 10 years. So anyway, go BMWs. <laughs> um, and then our Camry, oh my gosh, that Toyota Camry, that was the best car I think we've ever owned. It went over 200,000 miles and it was just like, it went and went and went, I mean, unbelievable until finally, uh, two years ago, we had to lay it to rest. So, any parts. what? Donated it for parts. Yep, we donated it for parts. <laughs> and then our Chevy now was we bought it for two thousand dollars. I know, crazy, right? We bought it for two thousand um, dollars from my best friend, um, and we have been driving that thing. I mean, it's got over 100,000 miles. 200,000 miles. It's 200,000 miles, yes. And now it is actually not safe to drive. It it pulls like jerks and the steering's all messed up. And the computer's all messed up. Too. The what? Computer. Oh, the computer and it's all messed up. So anyway, that's what we have been driving just that. I mean, that's all we've had because our other car, the one my brother-in-law gave me, has been tied up in hostage situation. So needless to say, we are so excited about this car. Um, gas where I live right now is just astronomical. Um, it takes about $120 to fill up our Chevy. Um, and then my husband does driving for a living. I mean, that's what he does. He drives all over the place. And it's been like two to three hundred dollars a week just for gas yes I know it's crazy so we are investing in a electric car 
and the just the amount of money that we save on gas will pay the payment and then our goal is to pay it off within the next couple months just you know keep just anything we have just throw it at it but we had to finance this time because I'm having my vitamin C treatments and we need to pay for that. So no big deal. We are blessed beyond measure. I am not complaining at all. I am just overjoyed that all our hard work for the last 20 years is paid off and we get a new car. Not just a new car, but an electric car. So anyway, all right. So we are ready to go. I was a little bit sad because today we had a death of the family. Yes, we did. My favorite glasses broke, broke. The lens came out in the middle. It broke in the middle. So yeah, so I'm gonna be um, trying to read and stuff blind. <laughs> So that'll be fun. I ordered some new ones, so hopefully they'll get here soon. Anyway, I think it's time for us to hit the road. It's going to be at least an hour, hour and a half drive from where we're at. So, um, yay, let's do it. I forgot that, um, I don't think you guys have seen this shirt. This is my, um, my H&M one that I got as a gift. Uh, PR gift. So anyway, I thought it was super like light and airy. It's um, well, let's see. It's cotton and it feels like cotton and silk. I don't know. I have to look at the tag. But anyway, super light, super easy to care for. It has like these. I don't know if you can see it in the picture, but it's got. Let me see. It's got little ribbing through it, like little ribs through it so it makes it easy uh, not to have to iron and stuff anyway I am going to wear my my skinny jeans the ones that I wear everywhere <laughs> and my shoes nothing new here I am a creature of habit but I just thought I'd wear something a little more um, uh, bright and cheery because that's the mood I'm in because we are getting a new car. And of course, uh, my Nordstrom rack purse that I got about six months ago. So now, off and running. Okay, so we are here at the Tesla place and um, just waiting for my hubby to stop working and get out of the car. He's been working, multitasking, all the way here <laughs> so anyway but it's a beautiful day it's sunshiny and a little bit windy so I don't know if you guys can hear me okay but anyway we're here super excited still <laughs> can't wait now we're gonna go sign up do all the paperwork which I think we already did online I mean we paid we did the insurance all that kind of stuff so now I think what we're gonna do is learn how to use it but that gonna be the trick. <laughs> so let's do this. this color it is so pretty oh my goodness this is so pretty I love it 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 okay now before we get in we gotta take pictures of me in the car oh I think I want some too Okay, so we are back. Oh my gosh, that was the longest drive ever. Oh my goodness. Anyway, we are home. <laughs> and I have got the worst backache ever. 
So I am going to have a, a hot coffee with my hubby and then I'm going to run that big old bubble bath that I have with the jets going, with the jacuzzi jets. And I am going to do a nice long soak and just kind of get the day off of me. Um, yeah, I love our car though. Uh, I got to drive it home and love it. Still don't know, know how it works and all the bells and whistles and stuff, but <laughs> we'll get it worked out. My son owns one, he'll have to teach us how to use it. So anyway, I am going to say good night for today and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> it is a bright and early morning, especially for me. Um, today I am doing my training for work and it's an eight hour day and we have been going for two hours and now I'm on my 15 break. I meant to greet you guys earlier before I started, but it just, it just wasn't gonna happen. It was just too, too, um, too early. <laughs> so anyway, I got up and I don't have to dress all professional today. I just have my uh, black leggings on and my green blouse, my shirt. Um, and I just pulled my hair back and I put some sunscreen on and I brushed my eyebrows up and I put a little bit of, um, bronzer powder on my face and put some nude it's what is this called it is called something really cool nude nude something nude pink pink brown brownish brown pink brownie <laughs> nude brownie pink anyway I'm loving it. It's just kind of natural and easy going uh, for the day. So I'm not all camera ready at all. Um, in fact, we're having some issues with my camera, so they're trying to fix it while I take a break. So anyway, I am going to go and get me some water and um, take some ibuprofen because my back is already starting to hurt. So anyway, let me see. Let's see if we can get out of the bathroom. That would be a nice start, right? <laughs> Ooh, sorry about that. You guys are all dark. Get my coffee. Yeah, and I can't have my, I can't have my, um, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, camera anywhere near my office while I'm working because that's a huge fine. Actually, it's it's just I would be fired instantly. So, because there can be no recording devices, period, in um, in the office because of obvious reasons. Working for the federal government, work for the FCC does not. They don't like you to spy on things. Hmm, I don't know why. <laughs> just kidding. All right, so. I think I am going to um, drink the rest of my coffee and just take a really quick break while I can and hope they can get these technical stuffs worked out because I'm just really haven't even got to the actual training part. They're just working out the bugs with the camera and the logins and all that stuff and it's super frustrating just to be able to sit there for two hours and not even be getting anything done. So preferably... Um, They'll probably add a day or something, not make me go 10 hours because there's just no way my body's going to do that. And I will speak up for myself for sure. <laughs> so since the technical issues are on their end, not my end, thank you, God. <gasps> um, you know, I'm going to play that card. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to put you guys down. I, I hope you guys are all having a great week. Hope you enjoyed today's video, uh, Tuesday's video. Today's Tuesday, yesterday was Monday. And um, the video would have come up this morning. So I haven't even had time to check. But I hope you guys um, weren't too disappointed that it was just kind of me from bed and kind of a blah, a blah day. <laughs> all right, you guys, I'll catch you later. Okay, so now I am on a lunch break. 
and I get a whole hour so that was nice because just from leaning over the the computer and like being tense and stuff um, my shoulders are hurting <laughs> my spine feels good but just my shoulders because um, of being tense and stuff um, we have had every um, problem known to mankind go wrong this morning um, my trainer uh, is also a really good friend of mine so we've been laughing about it but everything on my new computer for my work my v VRS computer Bentley over here sorry guys Bentley's trying to stray away come here buddy come here thank you anyway um, everything that's going on with my computer has <laughs> it's been wrong first my password wouldn't work the system wouldn't recognize me and then the zoom package wasn't downloaded correctly uh, I mean just everything and anything that could go wrong went wrong so finally everything seems to be up and running however we are like two and a half hours behind schedule so now um, we're contemplating whether to just cram it all in this afternoon and be done with it or are we going to have to add another day which would make three days chain training instead of two and that's a lot for my body. Now, my actual work schedule will be easy compared to the training. But anyway, and then right after lunch, I have to be observed doing some calls. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> I thought I had a little bit of time. But because we're behind and we're trying to catch up, it's going to have to be that way. So I'm going to have to change out of my pretty green and put some black on uh, after lunch is over so anyway and now I have my work for for this channel I have some admin stuff I need to do so I decided to go ahead come out here where it's beautiful and it's just the perfect day out it's a light breeze and it's warm it feels great I just felt like I needed to get some sunshine um, before being locked up in the room for another eight hours. Um, yeah, so I brought my computer out. Um, got my water, got my phone, got my Bentley. Say hi to everybody, Bentley. Say hi. Hi. Uh oh, you got something on you. What's that? There we go. You need a bath, buddy. Anyway. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go check my roses. I think I need to water those right now. So I think I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to do some admin work and nothing really a lot going on other than getting ready to get me up and going. And yeah, such a relaxing day. Kind of wish I could just stay off the phones and sit back and sip tea all day. <laughs> Tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. Yeah. Bentley's like, I want love, Mama. I want love. He's so spoiled. All right. I'm going to go check my peonies and see if they are still alive. I wanted to pop back in and just kind of share my thoughts just really quick. I have like five minutes, and i got to go change out of my um, cherry clothes back into my black clothes. But, um... I was sitting here, I watered my peonies, which they're still alive, thank you Jesus, <gasps> and my roses are, I've been able to keep roses alive, but the peonies, since we transplanted them and stuff, I wasn't really sure, but they're still alive, we're doing good, I watered my roses, watered, watered my flowers, all the stuff out there that I needed to do, and I was just sitting there listening to the water run on it, and I, I love, we have a sprinkler system that will, that does most of it, but I just like standing out there and just doing it myself just a little bit you know just make sure they get a little little extra love but anyway i was stand, i was standing out there i was listening to the birds sing and i was sitting back here i was watching the 
verdict or the verdict watch on the Johnny Depp trial and pretty much nothing going on so I just kind of paused it and listened to the birds just relax and stuff and it hit me this is the point I wanted to make <laughs> that um, now working from home if I get a rough call or an emotional call or whatever I can come out here and it's a beautiful place to just kind of unwind and you know turn off work even even if it's just you know a little bit here and there uh, because interpreters get uh, 10 minutes per hour break because you can't interpret straight through you know over an hour without you know taking a quite quick break and shaking your hands out so um, you know just a few minutes come out here sit and listen to the birds uh, pet Bentley have a nice iced tea uh, you know water my roses so I, I think that working from home doing my other job from home is gonna be just amazing I'm really excited about it I'm just sitting here I'm thinking you know what if I get a break like this every hour it's just really gonna restore me more than just the physical but like the emotional part of the job as well anyway I just had that thought and I felt happy about it <laughs> so I thought I'd share it with my friends but right now I could better hurry up and go get my clothes changed or else I won't be having a job <laughs> okay ah! <laughs> that was the longest day ever <laughs> Uh, and, oh, look how glowy I am. How, I mean, I did like the dumbest thing. I was in the office and we had massive tech problems for the first four hours. So we didn't get any training done until the last four hours. And so it, it wasn't like any, I didn't have to do a lot other than click here, click there, do this, do that. So I would say it wasn't really taxing on my back. I was, I could stand, which I did. I could stand, sit, walk around. Anyway, that part was fine. But I am so not used to having air conditioning that I was sitting in the office and I was thinking, oh my gosh, it's hot in here. I'm going to have to get a fan for this room. I don't know how I'm going to be able to work in this heat. We have air conditioning. We have an air conditioning that works perfectly well. But I'm not used to it because the last 13 years we had a, a water cooler and only downstairs. We had air conditioning in our bedroom through the wall, but that's it. Now we have it on our phone. We can just turn it on and it's there. <laughs> so after I got really hot and I was all like glowy and sweaty I turned the air conditioner on <laughs> so tomorrow I have two hours of training because we have to make up for what we didn't get done today it has to be that way so um, tomorrow I have two hours and I'm gonna remember to put the air conditioner on before I go in that office. <laughs> Ridiculous and luckus. Anyway, now, <sighs> feels so good not to have any face makeup on. I have not one stitch of face makeup, except for this is the problem. Without face makeup to like kind of balance the oils and the sweat from my face, um, I'm all glowy. I'm all super, super glowy. Too glowy. So I'm gonna have to um, figure out uh, some press pressing powder or or something like that or just wash my face in the middle of the day because when it got hot I mean I was like massive sweat like all through here and all through here and stuff but anyway that was the that was the least of my worries. <laughs> I was just noticing because I had to see myself in the camera. I was like, "Hey, glow city." Um, okay, well now I made myself a cup of coffee and I am gonna go and I'm gonna lay down and rest my spine for a while. 
and and then probably go out and make dinner and have dinner out on the patio tonight. We'll see. So I gotta see what my husband's up to. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna go rest for a bit. Okay, so I am so tired. I, I had a snack, I laid down for a bit, and my husband's like, you know what? Don't cook dinner tonight. I'm just gonna have a boca wrap and put some hummus on it and I'm done. So I'm like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Not that I don't mind cooking, I'm just tired tonight. So anyway, I decided to take a pampering shower instead. And let's see, I'm going, oops, sorry. Try to keep the right light in the right place. Thought I would try some of the new stuff that I have gotten. I have derm abrasion scrub for the face. Do a nice scrub down on my face. And let's see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And let's, yeah, you know what? Let's see what this is. Himalayan salt detox scrub. I need to be detoxed. Sounds good. So I'm going to do that and that. And... Hmm. I want to do the two-hour um, loving tan, but it says to do a scrubby, scrubby down like now, and then tomorrow rinse off in the shower with no like oils or moisturizers, nothing like that, and then use this. So I'm gonna keep this out so I don't forget to use it because I need some color. My British skin is desperately needs some color. So I'm gonna put that out and yeah, here it is. I have, it is called Fresh Cream. Um, it's by Philosophy and oh, it smells so good. I am going to, I got this for my birthday from my mommy. So I'm gonna use this to moisturize after my shower because the instructions for the tan said to scrub down, moisturize, and then the next day shower with like a regular soap but no oil and no moisturizer. Then do the tanning. Let the tanning sit, then rinse it off, rinse it off when it's like, you know, done, you know, making color, making the color. Then moisturize. <laughs> So, I'm going to get this out, and I'm going to give this a whirl. So, I have got my scrubby dubbies that will go in the shower with me, and then I've got my moisturizer for afterwards, and I've got my throw-on dress. <sighs> oh, and you know what I should probably do? I should probably do a deep condition. I've got my glasses on my head. I should do a deep conditioner on my head while, on my head, <laughs> on my hair when I do that. Might as well go all the way, right? <laughs> okay, got to turn you off for this part, sorry. Good morning, guys. It is, uh, it's a little dark out still. It is early morning and I'm getting ready to go back in for my last day of training. So anyway, I put my hair in a French braid last night because I was just tired of seeing it just blah. And it came out like this, kind of just wavy and I don't know, not sure I like it. I think it look, would look better with a couple curls, but I don't have time for a couple curls. So this is what it is today. So anyway, I had to put a little bit of bronzer on. I didn't put any face makeup on. It was really hard not to because I really, really wanted to because old habits die hard, but I was going on camera, so I don't want to be, I was like, oh, I gotta put some on. Gotta, I'm like, no, wait a minute. Let's just, let's just do the bare minimum and see if we can do it. I did it, and now we're gonna go on camera this way, so we'll see, but I put a little just bronzer and blush, a little bronzer around, and then I did my eyebrows. I dyed them yesterday, so they're a little too dark right now, but they'll they'll even out. Then I just put mascara, and that was it. So, oh, of course, lips, my signature. Lips make it. 
I tell you. You could be bare face and put lips on and boom, you're ready to go. So anyway, all right, I better get in before I'm late. Hi guys, I hope you can see me. It's kind of shadowy. Let me see if I can move around a little bit. <gasps> I think that's better. Hi buddy, Bentley. Stop that. Um, okay, so, sorry about that. Just trying to get my arms someplace to rest. <laughs> so I am on my lunch break and I just have to tell you, training has been really difficult for me. I haven't worked um, video relay for probably almost a year. Like, it's been 11 months, I think it's been. And I have to tell you, my chemo brain is just, I was yesterday, I was on the verge of tears. I was thinking that I was not going to be able to um, to remember how to do this. I mean, the signing, the actual language, perfect, not a problem. I mean, it's like speaking English to me. In fact, I sign way more fluent than I can speak English. I mean, ASL is like my first language. It is, it's just a part of me, um, but... Um, learning everything in English and the scripting and everything has to be said exactly the same way. The way we process calls all have to be exactly the same. And remembering things is coming way harder than I expected. I thought it would just all come back to me naturally. Um, but there's been changes. The scripting, the scripts have changed. And um, the first day we had technical problems. The second day uh, we couldn't get um, the scripts. The scripts were supposed to be here ahead of time so I could read over them, so I could get them memorized and, you know, have them and then have them on the wall in front of me so I could just look and just read it. But the scripts did not come. They sent them overnight on Friday. Friday morning, they sent them overnight. And it is now Thursday. So, and I know that there was a, uh, a holiday on Monday. But still, and they do, oh, they do Saturday and Sunday, so there was no excuse for that. So I don't know where my scripts are anyway. So they put me on, they put me on, it's called playing in the sandbox. It's not real calls. They just um, put you in with other interpreters and just fake calls just to see how you're processing, um, you know, all of, all of the stuff you need to know. So I'm trying to keep you guys out of the, like, shady spot. There you go. I think that might be better. Anyway... So they put me in there, just threw me in and said, oh, you probably remember this. I'm like, oh. And I didn't want to say that, sorry, but, you know, my memory, I've having, I'm having a hard time. Because then they'll say, well, how can you interpret if you're having a hard time? If you can't do English, how are you going to do? But it's different. And I don't know how it's different, but it is different. You can give me the most complex, like, video or phone call, or speaker um, with the most technical stuff, and it goes in my interpreting brain and comes out my hands, and I am, I'm good to go. But English, the speaking, actually physically speaking the things, sometimes it's just very hard. And I was thinking about it is because I know what I want to say in my head. It's like I see there's a table there, but what was the word for table? Well, in sign language, it comes easy. It's physical. It's just, I mean, I'm doing it. So it's using a different part of your brain. And um, if ever I lost my words, my speaking words, I think my sign language would be just, it would be perfect. It would still continue on. Um, but anyway, so I didn't want to say... Um, after chemotherapy and everything, my brain isn't quite working right, you know. So I just said, you know, it's been, a, it's been, I've been off the phones and there's a lot of changes. I really, I really need the scripts before I do this. So today we copied some of them, some of them off and we just did, worked on s certain different calls, not, um, not, um, 
not real calls, just, you know, sandbox calls. And I feel like I did so much better today. I mean, all I needed was the prompts and my brain clicked, kicked back in and I felt like, ah, oh, I'm at home, I can do this. But you guys, it is going to be, um, I'm worried about taking the, passing the test that they want me to take because stress, exhaustion, I mean, and I don't want to say, can I have a little rest before we do it? Because, it, you know, they want you just to get in there, get trained, get back on the phones as quick as possible because the need is so great. So um, if you guys believe in prayer, I wouldn't mind some prayers <laughs> for this next week and so because I think I'm going to need it. Anyway, uh, but other than the technical stuff, I feel so good getting back into the normal work, the, just what I've been doing for 30 years. I don't know, it's like something that's in me that has kept me grounded and kept me um, feeling normal. If normal is a thing anymore, I don't know. <laughs> you know, it just, hold on, I'm gonna have to take a drink. Anyway, anywho, um, if normal is a thing anymore, I don't know. But um, yeah, it just working, even working sick, um, I guess it just made me feel like I was still contributing to the world. I was still contributing to the finances, even though my husband absolutely could care less if I worked or not. He's like more on the side, do whatever makes you feel good. If you know, and he always is like, oh, I think you're doing too much. He always kind of tries to catch me before I do too much and like, mm, I don't think we should do that. But he knows that I'm a stubborn one and I just want to go, go, go and try, try, try. And I'm super independent and he also knows that. So he gently prompts me to slow down and not work so much, not do so much, not, but he also knows that I feel like I'm on a time limit. I feel like I don't know that I have tomorrow. I don't know that I have next month. I don't know that I have next year. I mean, I'm pretty sure I don't have too many years, but I want to make do, I want to do, I want to make use of every single second, everything that I have left. And I think that, um, he knows that, and he knows that when I am putting a lot of energy towards grandchildren and parties and family and doing the things that I enjoy that way, he knows not to slow me down on that because that, those are the things I, I need to get in, I need to do. Sorry, I'll start crying again <laughs> thinking about it anyway. Um, but work has always been, uh, you, you took too many hours or um, you don't need to work that much, slow down. You know, he's more adamant when I am doing too much like work work or too much housework or too much lifting or too much, you know, that type of thing. He's more outspoken with, but he still respects when I say I can do this, I wanna do this, you know. Um, but now the demands, because I'm so part-time, I'm like nothing. I mean, when they fired me from my my regular position, for those of you who don't know, um, I can post a link um, at the end of this video so you can uh, find out how that went down. But basically, I was with the company for uh, over 10 years. I was in my career for 30 years and um, I was full-time, had benefits, all my medical was through my job and they fired me. They said that I couldn't keep up and they did not really try very hard to give me accommodations. I had meeting over meeting over meeting and the meetings were so traumatic that I finally just said, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna I'm going to go down to, well, that didn't give me a choice. They knocked me down to the 
uh, flex position and I could no longer work from home. Um, lost my insurance. So I was like, I'm at that time I was freaking out because I didn't have my insurance and this is, it was through my, through my work. So I had to pay for Cobra, which was a lot. And without the hours and stuff, it just was a very, very, very traumatic time. But then shortly after my channel got monetized and it was just a miracle. It was from God. It was just like, you know what, this is what I want you to be doing. You know, um, this you can do without killing yourself most of the time. And so my channel started earning money, but it still didn't pay for, you know, insurance or anything, but it did give me the money that I needed to pay for insurance. So, you know what? God had the whole thing. He had me, he had my safety net right there. And I am so grateful for you guys. You guys have no idea how you saved my life. I mean, emotionally, the support that you guys give, the physical, the, the letting me, you know, be off and take care of myself and still have an income because of you guys. I just appreciate you so much. And no, you don't have to pay for my channel. I do know that. And, you know, you're watching for entertainment and, and stuff, but but you just being there and subscribing and viewing my videos um, is what keeps me going and keeps, you know, keeps me not having to worry about working 20, 30 hours a week. Because of you guys, I can work 10 hours a week, you know. It is just, it is a blessing. You guys are a blessing. This channel is a blessing. And I, I know I don't say it enough, but thank you. Thank you so much. It just is overwhelming how grateful I am for you all. So anyway, after being fired, after uh, being monetized and going full-time with my channel, um, I have been able to just really, really let my body heal and rest. Um, I know I can't heal away cancer and the tumors, but um, overall, I've been able to do so many more family things. Oh, my gosh. Before, I missed so much with the kids. I just was in bed all the time. All I had energy for was working. I didn't have energy to enjoy life at all. I was just like, I missed Christmas with the kids because I was too sick to get out of bed. Um, and then I have to rest up on the weekends because I had to be at work on Monday. You know, it was just, getting fired was traumatic. And for the reasons that I got fired was really traumatic. But um, it ended up being a blessing in disguise. So that was a good thing. But anyway, Bentley, come here. Sorry, Bentley's like playing with a... Uh, lizard. Come here! Bentley! Get your butt over here and leave that little guy alone. He's almost as big as you. <laughs> Bentley's like, it's a toy! Yay! Anyway, so, um, yeah, working, I think it's all come full circle. Just working, um, just the bare bones, you know, just a couple hours here and there uh, from home is going to give me a sense that I didn't lose what I love because I loved my work, you know, I, I, I still do. So I'm getting the best of both worlds, I guess. I'm getting to enjoy the skill that I've developed over, you know, all these years. Eight years of schooling is a long time to go and then not have it pay off in the end, you know what I mean? Um, so... Yeah, and then I get to stay with you guys. I get to enjoy doing content and doing brands. And, you know, I'm, I'm meeting a lot of other influencers, which is really cool. You know, I didn't even know that there was so many around that, that, you know, that were close. But I've met two people that live actually in the same town as me. And I've met a whole bunch online in different uh, support group type things, chat rooms and different um, meetings and trainings and all that kind of stuff. I've met a lot of really cool people. Uh, so 
that is nice because being online, you're by yourself. You're not really socializing with anybody other than, you know, on online and meet social media. But um, it's been really helpful having people that are in the same boat, same business uh, to support with the technical challenges that come up and uh yeah, and just to be a better better content creator, it's been really nice. And I've got some events coming up that I get to go to. That is really cool. I'm being invited to different um, new premieres of things and products. And, and I'm like, this is really cool. I never thought of ever doing this. <laughs> but it's, like, really cool. So, yeah. Anyway wanted to kind of give you my my thoughts for the day my update because that's I don't know that's my week and I think I have to go back in just a few minutes so I am going to um, sign off for now and I will catch you guys a little bit later hi guys okay I don't know if you can see me very well because oh wait <laughs> I've got my glasses right here. Okay, and they are so dirty. All right. Let's try that again. Okay. I think that's good. Is there... There might be a glare on them. I think there might be a glare. Yep. They're so dirty I can't see out of them. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm just going to pray that I'm in the right place. <laughs> okay, so... um I just got off work. I'm finished with eight hours of training, and I still have like two to three more hours to go, but it will be on the phones training. So I just have someone observing me, make sure that I'm not going to kill anybody and all that kind of good stuff. <laughs> so I am done with my eight hour days. So incredibly thankful. So that is good. I survived. I am going to. Um, take my work clothes off and then um, we just had dinner out here on the patio because I just thought it was nice to look out over the pool and everything. We went on this patio, this one here, instead of the one, the couch patio because I figured it was kind of nice to be up around the flowers and stuff. Anyway, um, so I'm going to go in and change my clothes, put the dishes in the dishwasher, wash my face, and start editing this video. And of course the dogs next door have to start block barking every time I pick up the camera. And then they howl. And then they all start together. Anyway, <laughs> so annoying. I know they're just dogs. It's not their, their fault. <gasps> oh, no. They're tricking me. Anyway, so I just wanted to tie up everything as just this week was just kind of training and kind of easy going. Nothing really exciting other than our car um, happened. But um, some landmarks for me were being able to um, survive the day in the car all the way there and back. I was in pain, but I did it. Uh, last year at this time, there's no way I could have done that. So that's, I, I kind of do year-to-year -year markers. Last year at this time, I was in bed. I couldn't get up. Last year at this time, you know, that type of thing. And last year at this time, there's no way I could have sat in the car and driven, you know, four hours like that. Um, you know, in traffic and everything. So I can feel my body is, is stronger than it was last year. At least I think so. Anyway... So there's, there's some milestones that way. And I did um, three days of eight hours uh, training, and I made it. Yes, in pain, but I made it. Um, and I don't think it's going to put me down for the next week. I think it's going to put me down tomorrow <laughs> and maybe Saturday, you know. Uh, but I think I'll be up ready for church on Sunday. So I'm super thankful for that. Um, and... I really feel like a part of me that was missing is come back home. You know, my my interpreting is 
such a huge part of me, the language, the culture, the people. I have been, I mean, interpreting for the community for 30 years. I know these people, they're like my family. Um, now VRS, I interpret internationally, so they're not my family, they're just, they're just people. But I still enjoy the skill and the challenge that it brings me, and I think it keeps my mind going. And it makes me feel like just a little bit normal, like there's something normal left in me. So I don't know if that made sense, but that's the way it was. That's the way I feel. So there you go. There you have it. Um, that missing part came home, and it's going to stay for now. Now, next week, not next week, the week after, I am starting my vitamin C treatment. And they will be coming to the house to do it, so I will film the whole thing. I already asked the lady, I said, do you mind? And she said, nope, you're good to go, you know, that's fine. So I'm like, good, I'm gonna do it. So you guys can experience it, maybe tell some other people if it works, praying really hard that it does something, you know, uh, cause if not, I don't know what we're gonna do. Uh, probably surgery would be the next option, which again, you know, a lot of what ifs and I don't knows but we will take them as they come. Right now, I'm just gonna embrace the normal evening and, and the normal week, so. All right, you guys, I love you all. I, I thank you for watching. If you are not already subscribed to my channel and would like to join my family, our family, <laughs> and join me on my journey uh, battling stage four metastatic uh, triple negative breast cancer, um, if you want to be a part of my miracle, then hit that subscribe, subscribe, I was so eloquent and I had to mess it up. Hit that subscribe button and do me another favor. If you guys could hit, if you like this content and stuff, if you like this kind of content, you know, give it a thumbs up because that kind of lets me know. It's kind of my, my, you know, my barometer to letting me know what you guys like, what you guys don't like, all that kind of stuff. So, all right, this is Too Cute for Cancer, signing off. <laughs>